A surge of gators is threatening the bayou. This year, everyone's pushing to get more of these alligators out the swamp. But after patrolling their usual turf, if you're going to be successful doing that, you're going to have to go in the part of the swamp where man doesn't go. Hunters are pushing the boundaries. Whatever it takes, we got to get to areas that are not accessible by boat. Going farther than ever before. Deeper places, it's all big, big alligators. Usually when you come to them spots like that, it's deep in the hole. It's a quiet morning in Franklin, Louisiana. Zach, we, uh, I got a little honey hole for us. Yeah? Joey Edgar and his new deckhand, Zach, are preparing for a special mission. This particular area is private land, but there's so many females that the big bulls are coming in. We need to just make a pass and try to kill one or two bulls. Yeah. But the only problem is to get back there is going to be tough. We can't go by boat. We can't walk through it? No, it's too far to walk. With this exploding population, we got to get to areas that are not accessible by pickup truck or outboard. Just from the blacktop road to the back is one mile. <laughs> Come on, Joe. What is this? You got a tank? Sometimes you have to use tools other than just the regular outboard that you use. Swamp buggy, baby. <laughs> Swamp buggy. Where could we possibly be going and what are we dealing with that we need a swamp tank? <laughs> Where we're going this morning, it's probably wet. We might not be able to get there with a truck. We can't go with a boat. So this is my secret weapon. This is what we're going to do. Jeez. In Bayou Benoit, Joey's dad Daniel and deckhand Big T are heading to a breeding ground known as Froggy Bayou. that, Mr. Daniel? That's our secret jump. You going in there? We going in there, T. Froggy Bayou is home to some of the swamp's largest gators, but it can only be reached over land. Unlike his son, Joey, Daniel's not giving up his boat. Years ago, my first time going into Froggy Bayou, it was so special that I could see that no one had been in there. Hey, T. What's that, Mr. Daniel? We're going to have to, we're going to have to open the gate. A gate? Yeah. I cut my way in and blocked the entrance, and I have kind of a secret gate. we got to move all this stuff, T. I'm going to go stand up here. I'll do it. at your service. I guess that's how you get uh, Froggy by you. This is the way to do it, T.
The journey of going to Froggy Bayou, it's a carnival ride that you can only get in an airboat. It's good once you get in it, but to get in it is not easy. It's trouble. But it's worth it because Mr. Daniel said that this place is like a heaven for alligators. It's their breeding ground. There's alligators all over in there. So if we can get back there and catch some of these big gators, they'll stop producing as much, and we can control some of this stuff. See, they're in here mostly because man can't come in here. There's a lot of feed for the alligators in here, T. Alligator right here. Ain't big. Ain't big enough? All right. Let's leave that one. So many frogs in there, they're jumping on me, T. How much life they got in here, T. Animals everywhere. Look out. Full of alligators. To reduce that population of all those females, we're going to take the biggest male alligators out of there. They got a bunch of them in the shade by those trees. We're seeing a lot of alligators, a lot you know, six-footers, seven-footers. We're not after those. We're after big boys in here. Oh, I just saw, I just saw one that might be a big one. Look how wide his trail is. See where he I passed right, right there. to the right yeah. of the boat? See the bubbles? Yeah. Look, going ahead of the boat. Right there. Listen. Listen. You heard him? Yeah. That's a big male. That's a big male. Big male growling. He's not, he's not happy about us being here. This big bull, he just growls at you. And he's got this harem of females that that's why he growls. Because an airboat sounds a little bit like a growl, like another big male. You heard that? He's pissed. He's salty, T. What you want to call him, T? Let's call him Salty Dog. Salty Dog, T. We're going to fix him. We'll put some lines around here. We'll try to get him on the line, T. All right. <laughs> He's got a big hole. I know where that hole's at. I'm going to set a line close to it. Really big alligator hole right there. I'll bulldog it off. Not long enough to where he can get in his hole, because then I can't pull him out. I just can't let him go that far. Make a short line for him. Over in Bayou Sorrel, solo hunter Willie Edwards also heads for a faraway hole. He's got an old score to settle. Yeah, we're going back here to check a little hole, call it the Black Lagoon. Last year I had a big one I called on the line and he broke the hook. Look at that. That's a 14 out hook, and when you see one straighten like that, and you see a trail where he went on the bank at, that's 13 foot easy. To reach this enormous predator, Willie's got to squeeze his boat through a narrow cut. It's kind of soft mud, but uh, the ditch is wide enough for sure. But it gets shallow as we go back here. You got to be careful when you walk along this bank, because you never know where he might be waiting on you. 
It's gonna be pretty bad, but we're gonna try. I'm gonna go way over yonder, and I'm gonna get a running start, and I'm coming in. Coming in hot. back in the back of Goon, and uh, we're going to see if we can't get a hold to this thing. When I go alligator hunting, I target big alligators. you got to hunt your big ones to knock down that population. Because a female, she'll breed with one male for the rest of her life. Once you take that male out, it'll take three or four years before that female will breed with another. That's why I hunt big alligators. Alligators can stay submerged for over 30 minutes. So Willie keeps a lookout for methane bubbles released from the giants below. I see it, baby. Going down the side of the bank right there. Oh, yeah. Something swimming right there. Yeah, there you go. No, he's right there. Okay, bubble. Got it. Ooh. That's something big. Got something big. I didn't think he was that big. Pull me over. Sure. Oh, you gotta put some bullets in the gun. So I gotta get him right here again. Oh, on the bike. Good nine, ten footer. A good catch, but Willie knows this isn't big enough to be the behemoth he's chasing. That's what I'm talking about. First one of the morning. Good solid stocky gator. We gotta roll, we gotta keep looking. Down in Bayou Black. Frenchie and G aren't hunting today, but for good reason. To fill his 250 tags, Frenchie's taking a big risk and cutting his boat in half. Taking a top ball. I want to make my boat longer because I can haul in a lot more alligators and stay out there for a longer period of time. We used to have to quit earlier because of uh, weight limit. We were make it bigger, better, and stronger. So I could go forward and set more lines out to make uh, a bigger day with a bigger load. We got it going on. We cut that boat in half today, y'all. <laughs> Helping the duo is Frenchie's friend, Boudreau. To make the extension, he first has to saw through the aluminum hull. But if his cut isn't perfectly straight, the boat will be rendered useless. We, we're doing uh, open heart surgery right now at the main artery of my boat. Oh, yeah. That's the easy part. The hard part is putting it back together. Yeah, get it all back square. Here we go, y'all. Oh, yeah. How long you want to go, G? Hopefully, we're going to wear a longer boat. That means we're going to catch longer alligators this year. Huh, G? Look like she had half. Frenchie come up with the idea that he can make the boat bigger. I thought it was a, really, he was joking. We're going to see how it, how it going to look when we put it back together. It is very dangerous to uh, that you could run your boat, especially when you're welding it back together. 
If the aluminum get too hot, you got a good chance of it bucking and drawing the metal the wrong way. If you don't do it correctly, then you ain't gonna have a boat. The only thing you're gonna have a power scrap metal. The extension is in place, but this job is far from over. Boudreaux uses a MIG welder with argon shielding gas to weld the marine grade quarter inch aluminum sheet. She's still in ICU right now. She ain't out the emergency room yet. You weld it inside and outside, fully welded all the way through, 100%. Then you start putting your ribs and your stiffeners and your handrails and start putting it all back together, the puzzle. Can't wait until put it in the bayou. And put some alligator blood in it. Back in Franklin. Okay, Bubba, we got everything? Yeah. Have a seat. I'm going to turn around, and we're going to start making our way to the back. All right. Joey and Zach are going off-road to a secluded breeding ground overrun by gators. This terrain is way bumpy, and you could not get back here by a truck or by boat. Without this giant piece of equipment, there's no way we could get to these alligators. We're trying to find really big alligators in a spot that's not accessible. Hold on. The buggy's the only thing that we have, and we're going to try to get him. Hunting by foot is a huge risk. Alligators can run up to 30 miles per hour on land. What we're going to try to do is snipe a big one from the bank. Yeah. We're kind of like we're still hunting deer. We just go, we're staking it out. Gotcha. But they heard us coming. With this thing noisy like it is, they heard us coming. Joey will be the sniper, while Zach, a fisherman by trade, uses a rod to reel the monsters in. I can't even imagine catching a gator from land. There's no leverage. There's no sight. There's not a huge horizon where you can see them popping up. You can just hope that it comes up right in your face. I really have to stay focused and help Joey best I can. I'll be careful. I get the big ears to come out and fly them. Ears. That swamp buggy's spooking everything in the swamp. Like, you'd probably be heard a mile away. I saw a lot of bubbles. That's all I saw, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got something. Oh. Oh, hook came out. Hook came out. Who came out? Who came out? He's right here, though, I think. Hold on. Put Dang, that bubbles everywhere. On. That was a big alligator. I think he's right here. I think he's right here. He was causing wake, man. He took off like a big alligator, yeah, huh? Yeah, it took off like a big alligator. He was pulling drag. Dude, I think he's right here. This alligator came off of Zach's line, and he's hiding right against the bank. This alligator's smart, but we're going to get him, or he's going to get us, one of the two. Dang. Meanwhile, back in Froggy Bayou. Daniel and Big T check their line near the den of the giant bull they call Salty Dog. Line's down, T. Oh, 
Oh, I see, I see water, some water moving back there. Oh, my goodness. He's right in the mouth of his hole. He's bulldog, though. The line's deep. What do you feel like? Oh, oh, oh T's heavy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Give me a shot. Give us a shot. Whoa, this guy's mean to you. Watch out, watch out. Give me a shot on that sucker. Yeah, we're going to shoot him. Down in and when we go, we gonna go, but Eddie, tell me when go. You... We got him, T. Oh, he's not big enough to be salty dog. That's a big one, but that's not him. It wasn't salty dog. It's a nice alligator, but it wasn't him. A little bit disappointing, but we're gonna rebate that line, and uh, we have to get that alligator out of there. Let's move, T. Back in Bayou Black. Hey, Gene, you got your painting clothes on? Frenchy's added a five-foot extension to the length of his boat, giving him space to carry up to 15 more gators than before. But the work's not done yet. Now it's time for a paint job. Putting on my styro on today. And a little blush, you know? She's going to look pretty when she leaves here. I can't wait to put her in the water and see what she does. Or we could put the buffer and the prom and the paint on. It'll run better, it'll perform better, it'll slide better on, on the water. You ain't gonna have no friction and no drag. It'll be a whole new boat. Me and G are uh, grinding all the wells and buffing the bottom out to get in you know, all the debris so the paint can stick so we have a good quality job. That way you have a smooth surface, less friction on the water, where you can run fast and carry them over a load. That's it. We're going to prep it up and put a seal on the bottom. Although this isn't the way G usually starts gator season, he's no stranger to the work. I've been sandblasting and painting for like 25 years. Daddy and my uncle them had a little sandblasting company, so I started off around 15, 16 years old, cleaning up as a helper. And from there, I wanted to step up to the boats, cars, trucks, offshore equipment. These days, you got to have more than one job if you're going to make it in life. As usual, Frenchy's got a special Cajun trick up his sleeve. You need a little spice? No, I'm good. Oh, Red good? pepper. Yeah. I'm going to put a little spice to her life. Put a jar of cayenne pepper into our paint that uh, keeps the algae and the barnacles from growing on the bottom of the boat. You need any of the seasoning when you're in the woods, get off the boat. <laughs> you know, every boat since my first boat I painted, all the way until now, we always do it. You know, this old uh, Cajun remedy. She's looking pretty and pretty every minute, huh? Getting better and better, huh? Coming along. The moment we've been waiting for, y'all, it has now arrived. Love you, baby. Now you are now sealed. But you y'all think about that? No! That's what I'm talking about. We got the boat done today. Everything we need put on it. And I can't wait to go ride in it. But there's a chance that I got too much front drag. In the back of your mind, do we uh, test it before we did, did all the paint jobs to see if we got to go to the scrap yard? <laughs> you know? That way you got to ask yourself internally. Back in Bayou Sorrel. A big one down there. Willie's tracking down a colossal gator in the Black Lagoon. Let's see if we can get our hooks on him. 
tried to catch him last year. I hunted him the whole season. I seen him one time, and it was that night when I seen him, and he looked like a little truck coming off the bank. I mean, just unbelievable how big he is. Just went down. Let's see where he gonna go. the boat here somewhere. He's right behind it. Uh, whoa! We got a big one. Where'd he go? He's trying to hide. If Willie's gonna snag this cagey brute, he'll have to catch him off guard. So he'll peel off and come back later. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Franklin... Slick sucker. This gator's more than slick. He stopped bubbling after that hard run. Joey and Zach are in a hard-to-reach breeding ground, only accessible by swamp buggy. After spotting a massive bull, the trail's gone cold. Hopefully this gator produces some bubbles so I can see him, take the cast, and snag him. Maybe when I get close with the buggy, he'll move. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Which That's way him. is it going? All right. All Woo. right. Just follow him. Just try to just follow him. Oh, just stay, stay on, stay on. He's on still. Just follow him. Right here. He's right here. Oh. Ooh. His head's gonna come up. Look at all those bubbles, Joe. I'm just trying to follow him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's coming up. Oh, he got pissed. He saw me. He got pissed. Right here, he's coming right to the shoreline. See if we can get him up. Let me try. I'm afraid to put too much pressure on him. I know. He's coming up, ready? Ready, here's your shot. We didn't play with him. I didn't want to take a chance him getting on the bank or pulling Zach in. As soon as I got a shot, I took it. Lord, that, that alligator's almost nine, Zach. That's a nice one. Yeah. I'm gonna try to drag him out with the buggy, Zach. Anytime you fight an alligator on land, it's gonna be tough because when you're fighting him on water, the, the sides of the boat are only that tall. But we shot him off the levee and we had to come six, seven foot up. He was all we could handle. We couldn't handle much more. All right, let's go. Right. Let's go, Polly. Oh, Lord. This nine-footer won't be causing any more trouble. Back in Froggy Bayou, Daniel and T have spent the day tracking a massive gator they call Salty Dog. You know, we're kind of yelling at each other back and forth with my boat and him growling. He's not happy with me. I don't want to say he's my enemy but I am certainly his enemy. God, dog it. Turn the engine off. Turn the engine off. That's definitely him, T.
Oh, I believe you got him. You need him to stop, do you? He's sinking. Get my daddy's hook. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Man, I don't want to lose him. I got him. Hold him, T. I got him. Make him go in his body. I got him. Got set him. the hook in him, Let buddy. Let me set the gun in him. Yeah, get the gun, buddy. Get the gun, T. I'm coming up with his head. Coming up with it. Shoot, team, shoot! Oh, gotta put bullet, 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 bullet. Gotta put more bullets. I can't hold him. I can't hold him, T. You're gonna have to shoot him. Shoot him! Hold on, hold on tight. Hold him, hold him. Oh, watch that head, T. Shoot him, T. Shoot him! Oh. He ain't going nowhere now. <laughs> Bam! My first alligator shooting and hooking. It's a good feeling. I'm pumped up right now. All right. Ready? Let's go. Set, go. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Ready? Set, go. This is a nice alligator. This old bull measures 11 feet long, and catching him will help keep the gator population in check. This is fun. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I'm happy we came in this hole. Good job, T. Hey, that Edgar Hook, you put it on yeah. him, buddy. Hell you yeah. Put it on him, T. We have to kill these alligators. They are taking over. And by filling these tags, by killing these alligators, we're participating in this very important alligator management plan. That salty dog, T, you got him. Done. D U N. Back in Bayou Sorrel. After waiting two hours, Willie's back in the Black Lagoon to bag his nemesis. Try to make a little noise where he'll start bubbling, he'll grab that bottom and bubble. He done played so many tricks on me, and then, I mean, like, he just disappeared like hunting ghosts. We just gotta find him where he's bubbling that along here. I know for a fact he's here. There he is over there. We're gonna catch him and we're gonna wrestle him down, manhandle him. Show him who's boss. I got it. I got it. He's big. He's a big gator. He might be 13 foot. He don't even want to come off the bottom. I got to slow him down. Because he's just coming straight up. Oh! We got a bull. Cool, look what a head on that thing. I got him in the belly, and that don't hold no alligator. Stick your head up. He's about to get off. After emptying his six-shooter, Willie still can't slow this monster down. I'm gonna try to shove his back down to get his head up. No bullets. Oh! Oh! He like he got my foot. I got some bullets, though. He's a big boy right here. See if he can pack this one off. Come 
mão boa. Deixa eu errei, né? Ainda não sei o que é isso. Ele está feito. Olha o que é isso. Eu não posso nem colocar minhas mãos na sua boca. Isso é definitivamente ele. That's definitely him. To catch that alligator right there, he felt good. I mean, he didn't got away from me so many times, and to catch him, it was just amazing. And uh, it was just the right time, right moment, and he, he didn't get away. Ain't no way I'm gonna get that up there. I have to hook him off and go find a tree. Willie can't lift the 500-pound gator by himself, but he's got a plan. Get right here, wrap it around a couple of them limbs up there and hope and pray that it'll pick him up high enough, give me enough leverage where I can heave him over in the boat. I hope it don't pull the tree down. We're gonna do what we can do with it. Then I'm gonna put his head over in the boat. You gonna give me that leg? But you gotta come. Big stocky gator. That's it, he's loaded. This gator might be 13 foot. He's friggin' huge. Back in Bayou Black, after a day of hard work, Frenchie and G have extended their boat five feet. One up all day in the neighborhood. But now it's time for a test drive. You know, did we do all their work for nothing, or are we successful? Let's we'll see what you're gonna float, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm ready. Time to test you. Do my to new toy work or not? The well's leaking, yeah, we sink. But that ain't gonna happen. She's floating so far. So far, I ain't going down. What are you looking like, Frenchie? Oh, it look great. All board. Yeah, we stretched out. Look like a stretch limo. It was nice, because we needed a room. I'm the guy that got to fight the gator, so give me a little elbow room, a little walk around room, and a little working room. Like we floating, brother. Yeah. The new 24-foot vessel can float, but can it hold up at full throttle? You know, always in the back of your mind, did I do right or did I do wrong? Did I go too long or should I left it the way it was? All right, that's see what we got. And I might not never ride the same. And we are all. Hey, looking good, Jay, yeah, looking good. Feeling good, that was, it got up easy. No bouncing. It just felt like a whole different boat. It got on step so easy, and uh, it was exactly like we uh, were playing to come out. That's you by myself. What do you think, Jay? Hey, how you like it now? And then my nerves went to settling down, like, OK. Wonderful, great, like I want to dance. Yeah! Like I walk to the back. How you like me now? <laughs>